Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download files or libraries from your Adobe Creative Cloud application. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first we need to do is open up our Creative Cloud application. So I'm on Windows. I'm simply going to be pressing the Windows key and I'm going to be searching Creative Cloud and I'm going to be opening this up. Once this is open, we'll be brought to our Creative Cloud application right here. From this point, I'm going to be coming up to the top bar. I'm going to be looking for files. And here's where I will see all of my files, libraries, anything that is shared with me and anything I have deleted. From this point, if you would like to download any files, we can simply come to any file you would like to download. We can right click, we can click download, and then we can select the download location for our file. Now this will work for XD files, Adobe Illustrator files, Photoshop files, anything else you might have in your creative cloud will be available to download here. The second thing we can download are libraries. Now this is going to include our collection of files, even colors, different elements, different graphic packs, different motion graphic packs for Premiere. This can include a number of different things. So to download any one of these, again, we come here, we can hover over it, we can click on the three dots on the top right. Then we're gonna to have to instead look for the export option rather than a download option, so we can actually download this. So once we click export, we will then have to choose a destination folder and here we can put it wherever we want. So I'm just going to be putting it in this folder right here. So I'm going to be clicking export, click export again, and then our asset is going to export. Now, once we have our assets exported, there will be two differences. One, our files will export individually and will be instantly available. So for example, I have my thumbnails file right here. The second, our libraries are going to be exported in a CC libs file that you can see here is not actually accessible or cannot actually be directly opened. This is because it's a special type of compression that Adobe uses. However, using a software such as 7-Zip or WinRAR, we will be able to extract it and access all of these individual files. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in today's video with 7-Zip. Although if you want to use WinRAR, that's also fine. So we can do this really simply by right clicking. If you're on Windows 11, you will have to show the extra options here. We're then going to be hovering over 7-Zip and we're going to be extracting the files here. Now this can take a couple of seconds before this extracts. If we refresh our page, we can see all the files inside have been extracted. So depending on what's inside, you might get a different text file with some color elements. You might get specific folders, as you can see right here, that actually include After Effects files and also include a thumbnail of the actual image inside along with a JSON file. So it's still possible to open and edit these after the fact inside After Effects or the specific application or any other files in here. These folders can contain Photoshop files, Illustrator files, and anything else that's inside a library. So basically our library or our CC libs file in this case is just going to be a compressed folder that's going to contain all of the different assets and hopefully this helps out and actually shows you how to export assets from your creative cloud. Anyway guys I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members Sean Daly, Joshua Davis and Devante Hunt. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks be sure to click the join button on any video on the channel it would really help me out. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy. Peace.